In this video, I'm going to be talking about the role of the appointed person in a crane lifting operation. The appointed person takes full responsibility for the overall planning, managing, supervising, etc. of the lifting operation. Now, he, may, he or she may delegate out some duties to other people, but essentially they are responsible for the lifting operation from the planning stage all the way through to completion stage. Initially, an appointed person will do a site visit to inspect the lifting area, look at where the lift needs to be you know, conducted from or so or what what the lifting equipment is likely to be. So you might have a fixed installation such as a tower crane or a gantry crane, or you might have an installation where you've got a mobile piece of equipment that's setting up in a particular place, such as a mobile crane, lorry loader crane or a crawler crane. It might be a single lift or it might be multiple lifts. So it's multiple lifts, you might be putting roof trusses up onto domestic dwellings, or you might be regularly put picking up tubs full of concrete going onto the onto the roof of a construction works, that kind of thing. Whatever it is, these need to be appropriately planned by the appointed person. The appointed person will generate a method statement, undertake a risk assessment, so what could go wrong and how that would how you will adequately manage those risks. It's not possible to always eliminate a risk, so it could be a case of putting a safe system of work to reduce the potential risk, isolate the, the level of that risk and then control the hazards normally through PPE or discipline. The, the appointed person, to, as I said, takes responsibility from the start to the finish. So throughout the whole of the lifting operation, that appointed person is the person who needs to be contacted should anything not be possible to be done in the lifting operation as per the method statement.